Okay. My name is Denutri Pavna Kekeli, a student of UPSA. I'll be handing you guys for quantitative methods. So our topic for today is amortization. Okay. With amortization, when we, okay, when we say amortization, it talks about either a loan or a mortgage. Amortization. It talks about either a loan or what? A mortgage. Now, a loan is said to be amortized if both principal and interest are to be repaid by a series of equal payments made at the equal intervals of time, assuming a fixed rate of interest was throughout. Are you good? Okay. For such a repayment schemes, the value of the loan, which is denoted by letter L, and the interest rate, which is denoted by either an I or an R for interest, are usually known, but the amount to be repaid at equal interval must be calculated. It can be shown that the equal payments, which is denoted by a capital O with a subscript O, make yearly can be computed using the formula. We have this formula to what? The formula for what? Amortization. AO. Let me do it for A. With a subscript O. It's equal to now where the L denotes the loan. This is the loan. Or the mortgage. R is the rate. Or the interest. C is the time. Okay. So there's the formula for what? Amortization. Now, note again. If there is a compounding period in the question, example, annually, quarterly, semi annually, we use the same formula. But there's a trick here. If the question is using a compounding period, like annually, semi annually, quarterly, monthly, we use the same formula, but since there is a compounding period in the question, where the R is, we divide it by the compounding period, which is denoted by what letter what M, and also divide the R here by what letter N, which is the compounding period, and also multiply the T by a compounding period, which is letter what M, which is given as thus. So we use this formula when there is what compounding period in the question, and we use this formula to calculate amortization when there is no compounding period. Meaning there is no annually, semi-annually, monthly in the question. But we use this when we have the quarterly, semi-annually, or when I see we have the compounding period in what's the question. That's when we use this. We need to this from here. That's when we use this formula. Okay. Now, we have, we have what we call the amortization schedule or the schedule. It's a type of loan that requires a borrow up to make schedule of periodic payments that are applied to both the principal and the interest. With amortization schedule, with the amortization schedule, whenever you are calculating for it, we are going to get our months or our year. We are also going to get our principal. We are also going to get our interest paid. We are also going to get our amount what paid. Are you good? That's how we deal with what, the amortization schedule. So we are going to pick a question, then we use it to solve for what amortization. Also, you to solve for what the amortization was shared. Then we say goodbye to what amortization.